Good day and welcome to Auto Rose Music. I am Jeff Field, the host of the show. And I'm coming to you in glorious 4K, like the 4,000 colors in my shirt today. We have got another unboxing for you. And this, uh, it didn't come like this, obviously. This was just a blank box, but this is housing a redded or redid. I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce the name of this guitar. I assume it's somebody's name. I don't know. But uh, it's kind of just been housed in this cardboard coffin. Uh, I'm guess it's probably just wrapped in the, you know, the uh, guitar condom, just that styrofoam stuff. I, there's probably some hard styrofoam. I tell you what, if anybody, you have uh, saw my uh, West Creek video unboxing, man, that thing was shipped in this, this uh, customized styrofoam crypt. I mean, there was no way that West Creek uh, was going to get damaged, but we've got a redid today. Let's unbox it next. All right, we're back and we're going to unbox this thing and hopefully you'll be able to see this well because uh, well, I know this will come as a shock to you. I don't rehearse any of this stuff. And, but let's, let's unbox it. Here it is. The redid. Open the coffin there. Get the thing out of here. And here it is. Yes. Oh. Sweet. Crappy cord. So, there it is. Yes, as I guessed. Yeah, there's a two pieces of, uh, I would say, medium density styrofoam. And let's get out the redid semi-hollow. In orange. Good. Oh, geez. Good thing that wasn't a Gibson. <laughs> Just kidding, Gibson. Don't, don't sue me. Um, good Lord, I'll never get anything from Gibson, will I? There we go. All right. There it is. The redid semi-hollow in orange. Try not to get all the shine. That's not bad. Um, ah, the fret finishing that leaves a bit to be desired. It's not like that West Creek where the West Creek, man, they were smooth as silk, which I still find hard to believe it, you know, whatever, about 200 bucks. This was $159. Um, I think the only one that's, there's a brown one, an orange one. This thing is currently like out, like it'll ship in one to two weeks. And then there's a green one, it's $169. Really, it's more teal, it's not green. Um, but yeah, these frets are a little, they're not super sharp, I would say that. Let me move this out of the way so we can, uh, you know, I'm sure this is way out of tune, so I won't try to play it. But, you know, again, like, like the West Creek, you know, from what I can tell, I'm not going to get a microscope on this and look for tiny you know, little specks of dust in the finish. But I, this thing looks good. It, re, it really does. I, I like the orange. Now this, um, this is uh, not maple like the West Creek uh, is. This is basswood body. This, it, it is a rosewood board uh, and a maple neck, which says, a, you know, this is two piece. I mean, see, oh, I have pictures of this, but <laughs> there's a, uh, an odd uh, angled splice. Uh, so I, I'm guessing that's why West Creek went with painting the neck black and not having it see-through, because then you can see this horrifying two-piece. I'll show you the picture. It's up there. So uh, anyways, yeah, it looks like the same tuners. They're like... Uh, cheap Grover knockoffs. 
Yeah, I can hear some pinging. I'll have to, uh, you know, put some uh, uh, grease, some nut sauce on the, uh, I, could, I heard some pinging on the bridge here, the saddles, I mean, on the bridge and probably in the nut. This is a, uh, not a bone nut. This is a plastic nut, um, unlike the West Creek that has a bone nut. So, but I paid $180 for that. So, and this was $160. Let's plug this thing in. Let's quit worrying about what it looks like and feels like. Let's find out what it sounds like next. That's the redid, the redid, whatever it is. Somebody tell me, please. Uh, semi hollow. That's just a clean tone going straight into my Princeton reverb, um, and it sounds pretty good. Uh, that was the humbuck or the. I always get. They're both humbuckers. When I say hum, I'm always thinking humbucker being in the bridge. But that's the bridge humbucker. Let's. Uh, I'm going to put it to the middle, uh, which. Gives us, of course, both pickups, and uh, we'll give that a try. You know, not bad. You can get uh, some, just some really good sounds out of it, you know, for clean tones. If you want, I, you know, I know jazz guys. Anybody that plays jazz is laughing their ass off right now. I don't play jazz. I barely play anything. But I do know that for $160, this isn't a bad, a bad guitar. But what's it sound like with some overdrive? Not that bad, yeah. It, the the neck again, it's it's and the action, it's a little higher uh, than what I'm used to, and this the neck's a little bit beefier than what I'm used to. But get that turn up, yeah. Let's see. Get a little more juice here. Try not to get a copyright strike there, folks. Uh, but yeah, you can do a little bit of ride. This is not a heavy metal machine. Believe me, it's not. But yeah, you can get a little overdrive on it. Yeah, you know, as you heard there, it wasn't too bad. Uh, but the guitar, again, for $160, uh, it's, you know, there are some, uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to uh, just trust Rod, but that's, that's normal stuff. You're gonna get that with any guitar. I don't care how much you spend, you know, Les Paul, the American Strats, you know, that, that stuff, it came from China to, you know, Oregon where I am and you're going to need, I didn't do it beforehand, so, but it's not bad. And these frets are livable, especially for the money. Uh, I know Amazon right now, they don't have the orange ones. They have brown, which is like a walnut. Uh, they had seven of those. I don't know what they got left. Probably after I upload this video, there'll be none. Uh, then the, there's a teal. 
that's one to two weeks out as long as well as the orange one is a one to two weeks out on order. So, uh, and the teal is 170 bucks. And I don't know why you have to pay extra for a teal, but, uh, so that's it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel. It really helps out. Uh, give us a like and throw some comments, something you'd like to see, uh, something I missed on this thing, something stupid I did. There's always plenty of stupid crap I do. So go ahead and let me know. Uh, and remember, keep rock alive.